Good evening and welcome to our home. As I share a favorite poem from Christmas time that has a bit of a uh, checkered or colorful history, which most don't know today. And this poem reshaped the nation's view of St. Nicholas and even helped with the celebration of Christmas. The uh, Troy Sentinel first published this poem anonymously in 1823 as Christmas celebrations were in some decline because Christmas was no longer really a family holiday. But the poem's clever verse and fresh view of St. Nick were well received and many believe the poem eventually changed the way Americans thought about Christmas. The poem's refreshing approach, cheerful imagery, and memorable lines caught the imagination of this American nation. And within a generation of the first publication of St. Nick, it evolved into a much more pleasant image. The image we know today of a reindeer driving, red suited, happy, jolly old fellow that we know as Santa Claus today. And I'm gonna take the time now to read the wonderful, illustrated version of this. And as I read it, I will share those illustrations with you. Enjoy this wonderful rendition of Twas the Night Before Christmas. The Night Before Christmas a poem by Clement Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down to a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a jolly old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagle, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Pranson and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all as dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stub of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. 
He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And with that, I wish you all a Merry Christmas.